Hi guys, this is Monica and you're watching No Rating Movie Review with HTC T. And today I'm here to talk about John Ibrahim's latest action thriller Attack which is now showing at theaters near you. When there is John Ibrahim fighting it out on screen, you don't see anything beyond his flexing muscles and beefed up chest. And his latest big screen outing Attack gives you endless opportunities to fawn over his good looks and chiseled physique. John is often credited for carrying a film on his shoulders. However, with Attack, the actor and debutant director Lakshya Raj Anand took this a bit too seriously as John as a super soldier is literally the single man out there, killing all the bad men. At one point, John single-handedly fights with and shoots down over a hundred terrorists who have attacked the city. Attack is the story of a soldier, Arjun Shergil, played by John, who suffers a terrible loss in a terrorist attack and ends up with permanent paralysis, neck down, and is assigned a life on a wheelchair. Meanwhile, Dr. Sabha, played by Rakul Preet Singh, has been working on a futuristic scientific technology that can enable a paralyzed person to stand up on their feet. And Arjun is deemed that right science bunny to undergo trial for India's first ever superhero program. All this because the country needs to be saved from a terrorist mastermind who is on the loose. Just when Arjun successfully goes through the experiment, parliament comes under siege and he is expected to save the city in the nick of time from a chemical bomb explosion. Can he make the impossible possible with all the technology that's inside him? For those who have often complained about Bollywood's lack of original scripts and innovation, Attack, to some extent, can give you an adrenaline rush for its noble idea. Seen many times in Hollywood by now, but still quite fresh prospect for Bollywood. And some might find it plain bizarre and too unrealistic to even believe any of it. I remember when Anubhav Sinha's Ravan, starring Shah Rukh Khan, came and many felt it was a bit too hard to digest. Don't be surprised if Attack also gives you similar vibes. Director Lakshya Rajanan, who has co-written the story with Sumit Batheja and Vishal Kapoor, has tried too hard to make the sci-fi action thriller break the clutter. And somehow, the film impresses and falters in parts. The film is crisply edited at less than two hours and doesn't lose pace even once. With a gripping narrative and edge-of-the-seat moments, it doesn't digress into needless subplots or song and dance sequences. Clearly divided into two halves, a wheelchair-bound John who gets transformed into a super soldier, Attack shows a soldier's duty to serve the nation with his new-age modern technologies. Thankfully, it never enters the territory of chest-thumping nationalism with heavyweight dialogues. Clearly not too alien to John's filmography so far. The well-crafted and beautifully shot action sequences are a visual treat. While humour is the last thing you would expect in this narrative, I loved how the director has laced the story with elements of it, through some characters and voices. No spoilers here. John looks seamless in this action hero avatar. This genre, for obvious reasons, comes so naturally to him. He blends in vulnerability with strength with so much ease and his physical preparation is so evident on screen throughout the film. Though I just felt the transition could have been a little more real. The way his character suddenly beefs up and looks fitter than ever before despite having been paralytic for long is a bit too hard to digest. Rakul delivers a convincing act and looks confident on screen. Lakshya doesn't even attempt to bring depth of Sabha's character, which I felt could have been better. Jacqueline too, in an extended cameo, brings glam to the screen but an abrupt love story sees an equally abrupt end. Did you watch Bachchan Pandey recently? Jacqueline seems to have mastered the art of getting frigid, fall in love, dance to a song and die with the bullets shot. There are some actors like Ratna Patak Shah, who's playing Arjun's on-screen mother and Rajit Kapoor playing the part of a home minister, but they've been barely given any room to perform. Rajit gets to plant some comic lines here and there, but that's about it. To sum up, Attack is your high on action sci-fi flick which is slick and savvy. Watch it for John's being at his best after a very long time. And don't get too much about the unrealistic world it takes you to. This is me signing off for now. See you soon. Till then, stay safe.